What is going on guys? Never in front of here back with a video today guys. I'm gonna show you how to get purifier in campaign on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. If you're new to the channel guys, make sure you guys you do subscribe, hit the notification button guys, like the video. You already know. Let's get this video to about 20 likes. And guys, on this October 15, guys, I'll be posting a, my first video of Call of Duty Cold War. So get ready. Get ready for October 15th. And yeah, anyways, let's get into the video. So what you need for Scotch guys, basically two controls and two accounts. With your second controller, you want to press A and sign up Black Ops 3 services. And with your main account, you want to click A and also put in the library with your second account. Once you've done that, I forgot to say multiple things in this video, but if you have like special weapons as your variants and stuff, you won't be able to do this glitch. You must delete them to do this glitch. And also, if you do not own the slash and burn like melee weapon, you will have to make variants of like pistols and melee weapons. You have to make variants of those. But if you do own this weapon, if you do own the slash and burn weapon, the melee weapon, you don't have to make no variants at all in secondaries. You don't have to make no variants if you own this weapon. But if you do not own it, you have to make variants of secondary weapons and stuff. Now, one does take his mega controller and push it aside when you see the screen and go to your second account click A on there and go to common record and campaign then when you go into the order you want to do this in the exact order I do it go all the way down just like I do same exact order once you not press B and back out of that and now with your main controller, you want to press like the little three lines on your controller until you go to menu, go to gunsmith, and you would know you glitch it out if you see everything like glitched out, if you see like a BRM in here. And yes, the BRM is the XMC. Y'all might be saying, snub, that's the easy video that we wanted to see of the XMC glitch of how to get the XMC without actually getting out of supply drop. Yes, I know that, but guys, this is not how you get the XMC, guys, okay? You can, yes, you can make a variant of it. Yes, you can put in your class. But even if you do that, guys, you ain't gonna be able to use a gun. I tried already. It does not work. I tried with my second account. It does not work, guys. Okay? It does not work. It will say you. It, it will say it's in your class, but that class set will be grayed out, meaning you can't you can't click on the class. And if, even if you can, it's gonna pull at your fist. You ain't gonna be able to hold out the gun or shoot it. So you can't use the XMC like this. I tried multiple times. And once you're a gunsmith, you see everything glitched out and everything. You want to go to secondaries. And look for purifier. It's a meet its little axe magic, okay? I'm gonna click on that we make an account with well, your main account and create a variant. Let's do this. And I'm gonna copy these like three extra times. I make sure I have five variants of this. Once you add back out, now go to multiplayer, custom games. But once you're in custom games, you wanna take your main account and go to setup game. Edit game rules, create a class, edit preset class, and hover over one of these things, okay? Now we're your second account, okay? You wanna find someone to join. So here we go. If you have no if you have no friends that you can join off of, go look for a group post. It's a much faster way to do any glitch that you want to that evolves like this. It's way faster, guys. I promise you, it's way faster. As you can see, I had no one to join at all. So just go look for a group post. It's way faster, okay? Don't still, like if you had no friends that want to get online. Don't start asking them because you're going to aggravate them. Just the fastest way to find someone is by looking for a group post, okay? Look for a group post. It's way faster. Now you want to find someone in the multiplayer lobby or zombies. If you find someone in the zombies lobby, yes, you can join them if they're joinable. Just make sure they're not in the game, they're in a lobby. But when you do join them, make sure you go to a uh, go, make sure you go to the public match lobby. If you don't, your game's going to crash. So I, I prefer saying find someone in the multiplayer lobby because you don't have to worry about that problem. <clears throat> but when you do find someone that's joinable, send, send them a message, okay? When you do that, just go back to Black Ops 3. And now with your second controller, you want to go to messages, go to the person. Oh, I texted him before. My surprise. <laughs> and how about we're joining again? Now with your main controller, once you press join game with your second controller, spam A with your main controller. Just like this. So there you go. And once you join them, press B and leave the lobby with your second controller. I got it there, and it should be on this screen. Okay? When you've done that, when you go all the way up and click A, do that with your second controller. 
And and now you should be in a public match lobby. You, with your mega controller, you want to press B. And you just see all your multiplayer classes, as you can see. And we go to a class, does not matter which one. Take your side controller back all the way out. When you see leave party, and press A on that. Then take your side controller again, click A. And go to back to a public match lobby. With your mega controller, we're going to push it to the side, the joystick. Side controller, press it on credit class. Mega controller, click A on there. And with your side controller, press B. Now once you've done that, you want to go all the way to like two secondaries. Since I, since it was, I, did. I own the slash ship burn as a secondary weapon on my secondary account. So I automatically had to go to, I can go to slash and burn. But if you don't, you must go to pistols or melees and look through the variants of the melee weapons you have to find a slash and burn if you don't own the weapon. But if you do own a slash and burn, you can go right to the slash and burn. The secondary, when you go to secondaries, and you're gonna see like a slash and burn and stuff. Okay? You wanna hover over that. Where your second you wanna press B. You wanna press B until you see lead party. When you see the lead party, press B on that. Go all the way up and click A on campaign. Once you've done that, take your main controller and click A on that slash and burn. And there you go. You got Purifier in your class now. As you can see. So now you see we have Purifier in our class and everything like. Now, now use it in campaign, just back out of everything. Just back out of the glitch. And it stays there forever until you change the class, until you change the weapon. Now, don't press resume campaign or anything like that. You want to press select mission. And when I click on one of them, just click on this and make sure you go to Hyper Center, okay? So everyone, just remember, you don't have to go right on Hyper Center. If you are on Sandcastle, the mission around Sandcastle or Rise and Fall, you can go on that one. Just make sure you go to one that brings you to like where you can change your class and stuff, edit it and everything. Just make sure it brings you to there. You can go to any other one, but just make sure you click one that's not Black Ops or New World. Pick one that's like something other than a black one. I picked Hyper Center because... I just pick it and just start the game. Center or something like that is because it brings so you cool. here. Now let me put my sensitivity up because this is too slow. This is honestly too slow. You want to go to armory? And you'll see. Shut the hell up, Kane. I ain't asked for your information. You want to pick the class with the purifier as you just see. Purifier here. We're going to change the camo on this thing because I don't want that. And now I just go to your mission. Click okay, next mission. Click on the class that has the purifier. And the mission's just start and here we go. Look ahead. Yes, if you put it as shut the hell up, Rachel. Now look, that yes. I don't think I should have shot. It. But yes, if you don't put it as your primary, you can put it as your primary. If you don't put it as primary, it'll be your secondary. So just press Y. And there you go. But the problem with like this is that it doesn't reach far. As you can see. And the damage on here is very low. Which is another problem about this. Cause look. Not even dead. The range on here is so short. It's it's cool that you have pre-fighting campaign. But it, the damage on here is so low. And so like short where you can't hardly do anything, and it just it kills them. You can get the campaign done by doing this and everything, but just that the it's so low damage. Like I like see guys, the damage on here is very low. Half the time we don't even kill them. We don't even put them on fire. But yeah, that's how you get that's how you get purified in a campaign.